So let's have a look at uh, the great campaigns of the American Civil War. We're looking at Battle Above the Clouds. <coughs> it really takes its name. It's, this is about the uh, Chattanooga campaign or the Battle of Chickamauga. Uh, it deals, excuse me, with the uh, conflict in around August, September, Oct uh, September uh, 1863. I think it got its name from these large plateaus that you can see here, look like how flat they are up above on the top of these mountain ranges. There's another one here. And I guess this is all kind of one here too. So it's kind of cool. Interesting situation in the campaign game, <clears throat> which we're going to be playing on Vassal with a buddy of mine. Uh, and with the advanced rules, you have to deal with supply. And supply is interesting. In, and there's a few, I guess before we get started on that, there's a few aspects of the game that I don't understand well enough yet that uh, are giving me some pause for concern about how to approach the title specifically. And you know, one is supply. Uh, the other is uh, the construction and uh, repair of bridges, the impact of railroads, and that's, pri that's primarily the, 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 the would be the main two or three things I think. And so, with this particular game, the blue squares are, or cubes are representing roughly where some of the forces are for the Union, and in fact, there's a few guys over here as well, and the red squares. Uh, are actually victory point locations that we need to acquire as the Union player, I'm playing the Union, uh, to accumulate victory points to win. Uh, so you've got some on the map, you know, there's 50 VPs here, there's 15 here, there's 25 right here, 25, 20, 35. And then there's this strategic off, you know, off map theater display and you can pick up 30 here, 30 here, 15 here, and 30 and 20 respectively here. Uh, and this is, so the maps are here, and then there's two sets of forces on this display, which can enter the map and forces can exit the map. And uh, it adds another dynamic to the game that's pretty interesting. So, just kind of keep that in mind. I'm not gonna leave that here, but this is just so you can kind of see everything all in one shot. So. Excuse me. So it's going to cause some challenges for us uh, trying to acquire some of this real estate. So I'm not sure how much can be done there. And in order to win a substantive victory, we need to get a minimum of 120 victory points. There are other nominal accumulations of VPs that we can pick up, you know, killing units, capturing depots, things of that nature. But really the emphasis here is going to be on geographic acquisition of uh, particular towns that will then in turn allow you to control a given county. So if you see, uh, if I just scroll this down a little bit and we'll zoom in, see that Walker there? That's the county of Walker and right next to it is the county of Catoos. Uh, Right there, and Chickamauga, or is it Chattanooga? Chattanooga's over here somewhere. The city's over there, but the actual, there's Dade County. Isn't that where the, uh, some TV show guys were from, the Dukes of Hazzard or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so, so it's very interesting Uh, and so, how, how capturing this obviously gets us 50 VPs off the bat, but it's very obvious. And I think that uh, the reason why the Confederates initially abandoned the location is it's probably because it's not a particularly good location to defend. And they uh, ended up retreating into the, the hills and mountains of this ridge here, I think. And then eventually sieged the Union who uh, captured the town, the township of Chattanooga. 
Which gets me to thinking, uh, if supply is indeed really important in this particular game, you check it every four turns, and I'm not sure what happens if you get back into, into supply in between that, that, that period uh, of the four turns, uh, but it does affect your ability to move and uh, recover and a few other bits and pieces. So we need to understand a little bit more about what the exact negative effects are. Uh, it doesn't have as big an effect perhaps as it might with uh, other games, but it is, I think, reasonably significant. And I think if we could, uh, I know for a fact that if you have supply for an extended period of time, you start losing a strength point every time you're out of supply. So uh, my thinking about this is going to be a little bit different perhaps than others, or maybe it's exactly what you're supposed to do. I don't know. But we've got these depots that we have to, that we have. And a depot uh, can supply units 15 hexes away. And then we have wagon units as well, and they can supply units 5 hexes away. And I believe you can chain those as well. So uh, if, if there's an opportunity for the Union forces to do some sort of uh, maneuvering and encirclement, then I think they should try that, uh, particularly given that the weight of the Confederate forces is here at the beginning and off map. And then the reinforcements come on board, uh, I think here, down this corner of the map. And we receive ours over, over there where those two pink blocks are. That's our, our uh, supply, uh, off the map supply. And this is the rail, the rail line here. This bridge here is down, and I've read in one spot that it can't be rebuilt and another spot that it can, so I need to get some clarification on that. But I think what happens here is that it becomes a pontoon bridge and not a full rail, a rail bridge. So that's going to change our ability to uh, capture, uh, to, to move supply in and then shuttle forward uh, to forces. So, uh, some, some considerations need to be had about how we're going to go about all this, and I have no freaking idea what I'm going to do, so we'll just have to work it out and, uh, and see what comes of it. And, and we've already started playing, but I haven't really come up with a plan as to how to approach the game, and it's very difficult to see a map of this detail uh, on, a, on a PC screen, even, even with a couple of screens side by side, you're still uh, a left squinting at very fine road detail and you know whether that's a road or a trail as the case may be and there's trails here uh, you really want to make sure you've got the right you know, you're, you're planning to do the right thing because you don't get a lot of second chances with your movement uh, in this game anyway that's just a quick little look at the maps they're gorgeous and uh, the game plays very quickly once you get started and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. This is something that I'd really like to have actually have set up out on the table at some point, but it uh, won't be for a while yet. Ciao.